Hello YouTube, it's Balemore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing Dark Souls 3 for the PC, of course. We're on part 33 of our series. Hooray! We are here in Irithyll, the Burial Valley. Um, second part of the zone, and I clipped it here. We we're about 17 minutes in. We're playing our Ultra Tank, and uh, let's just continue on. Without further ado, let's do this. Got some new enemies, you hear them kind of whispering. There's one right there. He's docile, though. You'll see their heads, and that's it. They'll be invisible. See them? Oh, we're pretty badass. They're not going to be a problem. Well, I hope they're not going to be a problem. That's a really crappy soul. That guy is kind of tough, but we just homer bone, but do not forget to wrap around. And that makes it so much more worth it. So that tough enemy was guarding one of those um, potion boosts. And those uh, undead bone shards, if you burn them in the Firelink Shrine bonfire, and that's the only one you can, it will increase your uh, health uh, added when you use a Estus flask. So, here we go. There's another guy right there. We got, some, we got some dogs up here. Those guys can get wicked nasty. And those are the more aggressive ones. They're different in color. They hurt a lot more. I only took a little damage because I'm, you know, ridiculously decked. I don't think there's anything else over there. Continuing on. And it's too bad you can't, um... light stuff as you go, like Dark Souls 2. See him all? Isn't that creepy? Look at them. They're hungry. Hungry, hungry. And they are all over the place. We did that. Stop it. Stupid uh, key macro. <laughs> it's too funny. Up we go. Oh, there's a little secret area up here. Stop it. So there's a couple items. Oh, that might just be a dude. So 
It's a stone. And it just goes outside. Yeah, this area is you keep getting higher in the areas when they hit you. It's rough. Where are you guys? some jingling going on, but we gotta take care of the dudes first. Ooh. Isn't that creepy? It's making them all go hostile. gems do. So we've got a, um, I think the Titanite lizard you hear jingling. It's right over here. Where is it? Must be the other side. What's that? Jingle, jingle. Alright, there's not much to this place except collecting items. So, um, like before, I'm just going to skip in between each item. And I'll see you guys there. Oop, that was creepy. Well, maybe I... It must be the ones that are sticking out are the ones that are uh, hostile. Well, you can kind of run. I think over here these all come to life. There's one item over there. See, these are sticking out of the water a little bit. They're the spiders. They're just creepy. You turn your back for one second, and they're on you. Oh, it's one of the maggot guys. That is a um, nice heal spell. Cool. Okay, that was quite a little trek. It's all empty. Now you can go through those sewers, or that little uh, waterway, but we're gonna get the other bonfire before we go in there. Nothing over there. I don't even know what the point of that lawn is. It's a long ways down. And this goes into the mountain. So in here and down, takes you in a whole new area. There's another Lord of Cinder down there. Um, and he is, it's quite a battle to get to him, believe me. And then 
there's nothing over here. Just a big room, and it goes down and out. In uh, being embered, you're gonna get invaded down there. So we're gonna go the other way. I'll see you guys over there. All right, in the waterway we go. Lots of spiders. I'm trying to play it a little smart. Let's see who comes over first. They do jump, too. This guy will do it. Maybe not. When are you going to come over? Luckily, as an ultra tank, you can just take it. I don't think that did any damage whatsoever. We get piles of poop. Definitely creepy. They scare the crap out of you. Well, that was that. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to us. Now, one thing you can forget. Oh, I almost forgot that. Not that I ever use any of them. Is this little guy? So don't forget that. That's the ashes for the hag. I don't think that's ever closed, but you can, you know, easily pass it and just walk up without, you know, knowing if you're, especially if you're not like me and want to kill everything, you just take out the hag, or the little, um, spider hags, and there's Estus soup here, a free flask shot, that's why I didn't top myself off, and now we get into the nitty or gritty, for real. So, there's a badass knight there, and there's a badass archer knight up there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lure him and fight him right here. He's tough. But you got uh, dragon arrows being shot at you. It's not a fun experience. So, he's pretty jacked out, too. This, the Silver Knight, this is who I'm, Divine Blessing, this is the type of knights I'm going to farm for to get their armor. I don't know if it's any better than what I have on, but I'm hoping, you know. So we're going to be really careful with this uh, knight up there. We're going to try to run up the stairs. He's going to go right after us, though. He's got dragon arrows, which are like great arrows. Yeah, see, he's right there. Frostbitten, damn it. Yeah, when you break those uh, lamps, they leave a uh, mist. And every one of them leaves a mist. So, yeah, I don't know if they're farmable. I'm hoping they are, but as far as I remember, they are not farmable. I think when you kill them, I mean, they're considered really tough enemies. We're just ridiculously tough. 
All right, so these three chests are not mimics. Unless it's RNG, and then I'm going to eat my words. Mm, great hammer. It's kind of neat. Or those, whatever the divine blessings are. And we're out of frostbite. I don't really know what frostbite does. It might actually make your, like your equipment load seem heavy all of a sudden. All right, now we're we're gonna fight some more doggies. I think there's any no. There's some invisible mages up here, so between that and the dogs, it makes it a little rough. But we'll get through it. We can kind of block magic. to your frickin' frustration, believe me. Alright, so far we're lucky on the dogs. There's gonna be another dog right around here. Dogs, all the invisible mages in this area are taken care of. Anything's there. There's an elevator. Actually, I think that might not be working. Just making sure there's no secrets. I can't remember like all of them by heart. I'm pretty sure we're clear. Let's see if this elevator works or not. I can't remember. It does. Ah, and that's that other side door up at the top. And now we continue on up here. And I know we have 18 minutes, but uh, let's just extend it to finish out the area. Uh, I don't think there's anything there. It's gonna go up and around. So we got the boss coming up. Let's wait for him. Alright, I'm up here. So this is the side route. Just kinda roll over. You'll take a little fall damage, but not massive. And this takes you off the backside, giggity. Because <laughs> that, that, that room sucks. We probably won't have a problem, but um, I just want to show you guys. So we come up behind. And then we're going to go back down. But that was meant so you didn't have to go down. There's a guy right there. Come. Yeah, I think that's it. There's one item there, but yeah, it was just a room of uh, dudes. That's funny, we didn't recharge it all. Luck is giving us charges on our Estus Flask. Now, up here, the knights are pretty nasty. They're dual wielding, I think, a whip and a scythe.
quite a range on him. There's his scythe, actually. And it's a really, really good weapon. And we just pooped on him. And that's a boss in there. Pontiff Sullivan, actually. He is the... I beat him dual wielding, and I didn't see many videos. Oh, there's a summon. I didn't see ma many videos whatsoever on people beating him without a shield, so I felt so accomplished being that I have such a huge vision impairment, and I was able to beat Pawn of Sullivan um, on like the second. I think it was the second try, which shocked me. It was rough, but we did it. Here's the other door. Yeah, and that's all the side doors, guys. It's pretty cool stuff. I'll end it right here. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. I hope you're enjoying the Ultra Tank build. Um, I think we're playing so badass compared to even last time. Um, getting the new shield. Upgrading in um, the Dark Sword, putting an infusion on it, maxing it out, you know, as much as we could, and um, just, you know, pumping all points in dexterity, strength. Um, now that we don't need the vitality, the ring helped, and we can roll. That roll is just an extra set of defense that we don't really need to use a lot, but if we do need to use it, at least we know we can kind of get out of the way semi quick. But guys, I truly appreciate all the support, the viewing, the subscriptions, the liking, the commenting. So like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. And until next time, as always, guys, later.